We want an Africa, as you said, where there is equality of gender, equality of opportunity, um, promise of a good, healthy life, promise of an educated society, promise of a leadership that thinks more about service than being served. We want all of that, borders to, 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 to be removed and so on. Why don't we have it? My answer is very clear. Because you have a selfish leadership. Extremely selfish. We often think, we often think of the problem of leadership as being the problem of the leaders alone. Fine. They must be defined, have integrity, have all those we want. But to succeed, they must be able to implant those attributes in the population. Their political parties must be organized in such a way that they reflect those values and embody those aspirations in their political interaction. If they don't, you have trouble. We are multi-ethnic societies. What basic values have we embodied in these societies? Equality? Or is it diversity? How do you convert diversity into strength rather than diversity as a cause for war and internecine fighting. Can it be done? It can be done. It's been done in centuries before, in Europe and elsewhere. Why can't it be done in Africa? But we don't have the will because we are selfish. We are concerned of the here and now in the seat I am in. That's wrong. We have, you know, it's ironical that you have a, a continent with the best natural resources of any others as of today but they are being exploited for the sustenance of those who enslaved us and continue exploiting us rather than being exploited for our own emancipation. <laughs> Why? Because you have a leadership that does not recognize the degree of present day, uh, present day enslavement, economic enslavement, and the necessity for, uh, for, for, for emancipation. It's ironical. We, we talk about development, but we don't stop in time to define what development in our kind of situation is. One of the greatest reasons of admiration for this country, for instance, is the fact that you have here a universal system of health and education delivery. Now, that is development. Rwanda is more developed than any of these Western countries in this regard, where you have assured health and education delivery. So, we really must rethink where we are, why we are what we are, what we can be, and how we can. I agree, women, youth, and all those things. But internally, the fault is in us, dear Brutus, not in our stars. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if I can have people, I'm going to go to the floor. If people can please raise your hands. If you have a question, 